Greetings, friends and enemies. Welcome back to Art by Plan. Today we have another sketchbook tour. It feels like 600 years since I've done a last sketchbook tour, but it's only been about two months. Um, this should be the May-June sketchbook. Yeah, because we're going into July. So this will be May and June. Um, normally I post these on the last Saturday of the month, but since the last Saturday of the month had still a week after, I knew I was going to do my art. So this was going up on July 1st. So let's get started. We did some of the sketchbook in my last tour. Um, and the stickers on front are homemade. Um, this one's, they're my dogs. That one's Spoon and that one's Ribbit. Um, let me flip to where we left off. Ah, here we go. And when we last left off, I was working on this gal. I had this stuff done, but I didn't have her tail or toppings done or anything. Um, so I got her all finished, and I think she came out really cute. I think this was the first... I drew this, and then I remembered it was Mermaid. So this wasn't technically a Mermaid drawing, but it sort of became that when I realized what I'd done. The second piece was done with Mermaid in mind. This is my character, Caesar, as a wonderful, majestic Merman. <laughs> Um, I really love how his tail came out. I think this was the first time, maybe not the first time, but um, one of the best executions of, I used Spectrum Noir to lay down the reds, um, and then I went over it with colored pencil to add the shading. Everything else is colored pencil, but his tail has a um, marker underneath, and I think it came out looking pretty darn great. And here you can see the initial sketch for the mermaid piece I posted here on my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> you can see some of my notes here too. Uh, I is my character Benira as a mermaid, merman, uh, but he has an eel tail, and I just eels fancier for the trident, and then make his face less stupid, which I did end up redrawing his face uh, digitally, so I did make, in fact, make his face less stupid, and I added more detail, I think, uh, digitally too. So, moving on, here we have just a some pin practice of some OCs. This is my character Iris and her first daughter Izia. Um, from an RP I have with my roommate, Brooke. Um, this was a second child I created. Um, it's just not canon or anything. I was just doing it for fun and, and um, her name is Rye. So I thought these were just really cute um, scribbles just to pass the time and I liked uh, the pen practice. I love my Pilot Pocket Brush pens. I love them to death. Um, and if you've seen a lot of this washi tape, uh, I know somebody, I mentioned this in a comment, but I can't remember who you are and I'm so sorry. They asked how I got my sketchbook pages to stay in. Um, as apparently Canson, I've noticed, and I think they've noticed too, that the Canson pages um, kind of tear. Hold on, I'm actually getting frame here. Kind of tear where the pages come loose at the perforation, so I just end up taping them um, back in with washi tape. And their question was, how do you get the pages to stay? And the answer is, I don't. I just tape them in. <laughs> um, here we have, I really hate the, I, have, I like this picture as a picture, but I hate that it's so small and on this corner of the page. Um, this is my character, Clara. Uh, Brooke and I were talking about, um, like, a diner AU for our characters, and this was just what Clara would wear in that universe, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was cute, so I doodled it out and colored it. Um, this is my character, Aeulis. Uh, I liked the sketch. The pose is a little meh for me, but I ended up liking the sketch quite a bit, so I ended up inking it, and then I wanted to color it, and because I inked it in a uh, brush pen, I colored it in markers. Normally my colored pencils don't work too well with the brush pens just because the lines are so thick and it's hard to recreate that pen pressure when I go back over it again once I'm finished coloring. So, yep, just a doodle of a Ulyss. Here we have more. I love how this one came out. So this is my character, Bianca, um, and this is her in a fancy dress. But the blending I got out of the colored pencil on her dress is so damn smooth, y'all. It's like butter up in here. I love, love, love how this came out. Um, yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to it, but I just, I remember this dress taking a couple days to finish. Like, colored pencils are definitely a, pati a medium for people with patience. <laughs> I probably could have done it faster had I done it in marker, but I really love my colored pencils, and I'm really just getting back into those long term, I think. Um, the, around this time, I started playing Pokemon again. I ended up picking up Pokemon Sun. I originally got Moon, but I ended up picking up Sun because I wanted to play the game again. So I was trying to draw what my trainer looked like in game at the time, but I just, I didn't finish it. I just wanted to play the game and not worry <laughs> about drawing stuff. So this was um, after I came back from my vacation and I just wanted to scribble some things to get back into the spirit of drawing. Um, and this is a character, this is my Pokemon character from Pokemon X, actually. I purchased Pokemon Y, but I've gotten to this thing where I'm going back and playing Pokemon games, and 
Um, I had X, I got it for free for some reason, but I just never played it again. So I'm playing through it again, and this is my character, Lisette. Lisette. <laughs> I'm probably gonna talk more about her in a future video, maybe. And here we have her again, just in a different style. Um, I was really enjoying this limited palette thing. Um, I just used my brush pens and um, a gel pen, and I think this is, yeah, Spectrum Noir, because I didn't have my Copic Grays with me, so. Here are some more scribbles, just again, just to get me back in the swing of things. Um, this down here is concept or just designs for a character called Candy. Um, I don't have a story for her yet, but she's based on an older design that I really enjoyed. Um, so I redrew it and just sort of brought her back to life. And this up here, if you follow my Instagram, you saw these. Um, this is just my style, my regular style versus like typical anime style. And so I wanted to see how they stacked up because I always feel like sometimes my art is too anime and sometimes it's not anime enough. Well, it's not really anime at all, I guess. <laughs> so here's my character Candy again. Like I said, I don't have a story for her or anything. I know in a recent live stream people were asking if there was a story about her, but there's not, not really. Um, like I said, she's just based off of an old old character design I had and I just thought it was cute so I redrew her. One thing I am having issues with is, you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like this gray smudgy dirt look on like her face and her arms through here and that's because of the other side of the page. Like my desk at work was so dirty and I clean it almost religiously now but it got all over the back of the page so when you close the book it gets all over the pictures and I'm really upset about that. <laughs> It happened here too with this little harpy girl. I thought she was so darn cute. I don't know, I just got in this mood to draw a harpy because um, my work and I were calling each other harpy, you know, like in um, The Last Unicorn. We were just doing <laughs> that. That's one of our go-to insults. It's calling each other harpies. Um, so I drew one and I think she came out super duper cute. I'm really happy with the shading on her feathers and stuff. I also drew this at work and I realized I probably shouldn't have some bare titties hanging out if I'm at work. So I just put like some creative feathering over it <laughs> so as not to read it and not to ruin the inks I did, but to also sort of give her some coverage while I'm in a professional setting. But yeah, um, I wasn't really sure uh, when I got to her skin, like her feathers and her hair all came out stunning A+. When I got to her skin, I was a little nervous. <laughs> I don't think I didn't think he'd blend very well with the muted colors of her legs, but I think it came out uh, pretty nice in the end. It's a little lighter on camera than it is um, in my sketchbook. Here are some doodles for a channel rebrand. You'll get to see the new end card, and I, you probably already see my new banner at the top of the screen. Uh, but I was doing just like sketches and stuff for a rebrand of my channel. Not really a rebrand, but a redesign of my channel. I thought the old stuff was just getting well old and I just wanted to redo it. So there's concept sketches for that. Um, this was a concept sketch for an end, end slate card uh, for a little character on the end. I didn't end up using her, but she's super duper cute. Um, so I may cut her out and make her a sticker or something because she's so dang adorable. So this is my character Jaku. Um, it's not how she looks now, obviously. Um, if you've seen any of my other artwork, you're wondering, that's not how Jaku looks. Um, it's not. This is a super duper old design. Like I'm talking like pre-middle school, I think, design. Either very early middle school or pre-middle school design for her. Um, I just It just clicked in my head. I just remembered it in excruciating detail for some reason, so I redrew it um, with what she would have looked like at that time. And obviously she was very heavily influenced by Sailor Moon because this is a obviously a Sailor costume. And I remember when I originally designed this, I read somewhere that um, the, the creator of Sailor Moon, she designed a lot of the later um, costumes based on lingerie. And I remember reading it as a kid and thinking, oh, I can do that. Um, so I found some lingerie or something and I remember basing this off of that so that's what's going on here. Coloring came out looking nice. Again I applied that I, I applied the um, Spectrum Noir, the grays um, underneath our marker and then I just colored the black on top and sort of blended it out together. Uh, failed sketches. The pose wasn't coming out. I didn't enjoy it. It was too bland and I just was tired of erasing so I did some thumbnail sketches for the next page. Um, which they came out sort of better. I still feel like the pose could be better, but I sort of wanted to focus on her outfit and rather than the actual pose of the character. So this is the, the concept sketches for that. This is my character Maya. Now normally Maya is a very um, sweet character. She's very, um, very understanding, very kind. And in her story, she, when she becomes queen, she's a very benevolent ruler. And I just sort of had the idea playing around in my head, what if she wasn't? Because her son ends up 
Um, when he takes Fiona, is it kind of tyrannical? It's a bit of a long story, but I thought, what if she became that instead? What would she sort of look and act like? So that's what, what this is, and I'm really happy with the outcome on this. Um, and this here is just a little color study for her outfit. Um, I, my mom got me some extra sketch uh, sticky notes, so I just sort of scribbled out the, the design of the outfit and <laughs> used that to pick my colors. Um, this one, it's not technically finished, but it is. I just need to put the toppings on it. Um, but I think it's just so damn cute. It's Maya, again, this is more her personality, I guess. But I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, I saved the sketch, I think, on my phone. So I may do a digital version of this. I kind of want to do a digital version and then make it a sticker on my next sketchbook. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. But it's just, it's just Maya. I just been in the mood to draw her. I, just, I go through periods where I don't draw her at all, and then I draw her all the time. So this is one of those periods but yeah that's um it's just a bit sketch of Maya like I said I need to do the toppings on it but uh, I'm really happy with it and this should be the last picture like I said I haven't done a lot because like I said I got really into playing Pokemon and then I went on vacation and I just had a lot of stuff going on so this is the last piece in the sketchbook it's a bit of fan art which is rare for me um this was finished today uh, as of recording this it's June 30th um so that means it's Yusuke's birthday! Every year I try to draw something for her for her birthday. So this is today's, um, this is this year's sketches. I was going to do it in colored pencil, um, but that would have taken way too long and there was no way I would have gotten it finished today. So I just did this in um, Spectrum Noir marker. It's just her being cute. Um, she got a little cupcake and that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's not a long, not a long video, not a lot of sketches going on um, in this sketchbook. I just, like I said, I've been I went on vacation and didn't draw, and then I got back and got into a funk. Yeah. And then I got back and got into a funk, so there's not a lot in here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. You can subscribe, and if you want to get a notification for when I <laughs> upload a new video, um, you can click that little bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye